The Gorman Rupp Parallel Series Pump Station provides the most reliable pumping capabilities when force mains are long or there's more than one pump station on the same force main and the need for pumping additional flow rates may be required. The Parallel Series Pump Stations are identical to normal duplex pumping stations with the exception of interconnecting piping between the discharge of pump number two and the suction line of pump number one. For the small cost of this extra piping, the actual head output of the station doubles. This is achieved by installing a three-way plug valve between the pump discharge and the discharge check valve of pump number two, and installing a check valve on the suction side of pump number one with a T between the check valve and the pump. The purpose of the three-way plug valve is to operate the pumps in series, allow standard parallel pumping, or isolate the pumps for service. This valve is left fully open during normal operation of a series pump station, but may be closed to convert the station back to a standard parallel duplex pump station. The control panel for a parallel series pumping station is identical to that of a standard parallel duplex pump station. During routine operation, each individual pump operates identically to a standard duplex pump station. When the level in the wet well rises to the lead pump on level and pump number two comes on, it pumps through its suction line and out through its discharge check valve. The suction side of pump number one is pressurized during this pumping operation, while the check valve below the suction tee prevents the return of flow to the wet well. Alternation will occur at the end of each pumping cycle. The next time the level of the wet well rises to the lead pump on level, and pump number one comes on, it pumps through its suction line, including the suction check valve, and out its discharge check valve. The discharge check valve on pump number two is held shut by the discharge pressure created by pump number one, and the negative pressure created on the suction side of pump number one. When the wet well rises to the point where one pump cannot handle the flow, the control panel will turn on the lag pump, and this is when the series pumping benefits really kick in. Pump number one is on first, trying to handle the inflow. When pump number two comes on, the discharge from pump number two will go to the suction of pump number one. The pressure on the suction side of pump number one is negative, which is less than the pressure on the discharge side of pump number two, which is positive. Therefore, the flow from pump number two will be to the suction of pump number one. At this point, the pressure below the suction check valve of pump number one is less than the discharge provided by pump number two. Therefore, the suction check valve on pump number one closes. If pump number two is on first and pump number one comes online, the flow is as shown. In series operation, pump number two pumps through pump number one. Therefore, twice the head is produced at the same flow rate but due to friction losses in the system, actual results are less. For example, pump number two alone produces 525 gallons per minute at 66 feet of head. In a standard parallel duplex station, when the second pump comes online, the flow only increases to 550 gallons per minute with a total dynamic head of 72 feet. This equates to only 25 gallons per minute additional flow. In series operation, when pump number one comes online, the station will pump 750 gallons per minute at 115 feet of head. This equates to an additional 225 gallons per minute of flow compared to a single pump operation. If the design requirements demand the higher series flow, three pumps must be utilized in the station, with one serving as a standby pump. In a three-pump parallel series pump station, the concept is the same as with two pumps, but now we've added an additional backup pump with the same interconnection piping between pumps one and two and two and three. Each pump can run alone and the flow will be as shown. Pump one on. Pump two on. Pump three on. As the level in the wet well begins to rise, the second pump comes online and the following happens. 
If pump number one is the lead pump and pump number two is the lag pump, the flow is as shown. Pump number two is the lead pump and pump number one comes online as the lag pump. Pump number two is the lead pump and pump number three is the lag pump. Pump number three is the lead pump and pump number two starts up as the lag pump. Pump number one is the lead pump and pump number three is the lag pump. Pump number three is the lead pump and pump number one comes online as the lag pump. In conclusion, the parallel pump system allows each pump to operate individually at a reasonable flow rate delivering average daily flows. When flows increase beyond the capability of single pump operation, the station automatically shifts to series operation and provides additional flow from the station. These stations provide reliable pumping during routine pumping operation and have the capability to provide increased flow rates during peak flow conditions. It's now easy to see why the Gorman Rupp Parallel Series Pumping Station provides the most reliable pumping capabilities when forced mains are long or there's more than one pump station on the same forced main and the need for pumping additional flow rates may be required.